Welcome to this WML Document Platform screencast. In this series, I'll be demonstrating common tasks carried out on our document automation software for document conditioning, variable data publishing, and electronic document delivery applications. <coughs> we'll also be using this series to demonstrate new features as we add them to the platform. In this screencast, I'll be demonstrating the prescribed processing features uh, of our platform. Uh, I'm, we have here a, a view of the user interface of a PDF Plus device um, and this PDF Plus has got the prescribe emulation module uh, enabled using uh, the, the, the relevant license flag. So if I log into this system uh, we've got a single queue on this demo system uh, a single queue called Prescribe Processing. If I click on the link, that expands out. Um, uh, as with most of our demos, this print queue is printing out into a batch folder so that we can view the uh, output on the screen. Um, so, uh, let's go ahead and make up some Prescribe. If you're watching this, you probably know that uh, Prescribe is a print description, a page description language from Kyocera, um, and uh, it's ASCII text, and uh, it's used in certain specialised applications. Um, so if I open up my desktop, I've got some example print data in here. Okay, so we've got here. Uh, let's create a new uh, file. And I'm going to create a new text document and call that uh, screencast.pre.txt and I'll open that with notepad. So I'm just going to write out some very simple prescribe here. I'm going to move zero position 3 comma 3. That'll be in inches by default. Uh, I'm going to change the font to a font called Font4. I'm going to write some text. Hello, world. And then I shall output a page and exit out of the prescribe environment. Okay, so this is some very simple prescribe there. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to print that file, screencast.pre.txt, uh, through the uh, prescribed processing queue. Over here on the right, we've got three little uh, action buttons. The leftmost one allows me to print a file through the web interface. I'm going to click on that. Uh, it's opened the window in that same folder. So I can just double click on the screencast file. And it's sent up to the system. You can see activity on the activity monitor and the status message tells us that the job has been completed. So I can go to the output batch window up here and have a look at what that output for us. We've got one batch pending and I can open that in a folder, open it with Windows Explorer which will unpack the zip for me and there's the file and double click that and there's a simple file we've moved across three inches down three inches and printed the word the words hello world so that's a very simple prescribed file which is converted into pdf let's find a slightly more complicated one this one uh, a demo packing slip here let's open that one just open it with notepad. So here's some slightly more involved prescribe. Uh, as you can see it's got quite a lot of move commands, some, quite a lot of font commands, uh, number, of, number of text commands, um, there's some pattern commands, so it's a reasonably complicated uh, uh, prescribe file there. So let's print that one through the system and see how it comes out. demo packing slip that's gone through it's printing 
and completed. So we can close that, go to the output batches, open up the file, and there's our packing slip. A little bit more complicated that one, it's got a couple of barcodes in, uh, a number of different fonts, and some lines on the page. Okay. Let's do one more. Let's do the demo invoice and see how that looks. There it is. Plenty of prescribe in there. That looks like it's another German file. Let's go to the interface, over to the queue list, printer file, demo invoice. That's printing and completed. If I go to the output patches, I've got one pending. Open that one up. There's our demo invoice. And there it is, an invoice form. And that completes this screencast. Uh, you can find more information about our software at wmltd.co.uk. Thank you for watching.